invitation to the Junior Drivers' Carnival. What is there to think about? It's a golden chance that most drivers dream of. The RM Association will send out media invites, so the carnival can give you great public exposure. Last year, our team's invitees were Lee and Micah, but this year, you replaced Micah, which means they have huge expectations for you. Got it. Can't go and disappoint the association or the fans. Welcome to the opening race of the Junior Drivers Carnival. Let's hear it for the R4 standouts. It's a checkpoint race this time. Drivers need to pass through the checkpoints within the designated time, otherwise they will be eliminated. You can feel the excitement. There's no room for error this time. Stay tuned. The race is about to start any minute now. young prodigies all have something in common. They are precise and fast. Which is why I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about the next competition. We are already halfway through the R4 Junior Championship. And we are sitting in second place. A decent performance, yet not worth celebrating. Because we are here for the championship. You delivered an outstanding performance in this year's R4, reinforcing that the team's decision was well-founded. Do not let us down. All right. Eating a jerk. Let us keep up that momentum. Hey, rookie, hold up a sec. Remember, Lady Luck won't always smile at you. Can't wait for your next lesson, big star. Try to go faster and make it out of the second echelon. Copy that. Terrific pass. Now keep your lead. Push harder and go for the top three. Great job. Now you're in the top three. Come on. Show those floor junior punks how it's done.
Congratulations on securing a top three finish. And Adelbert takes the win for Thor Jr. Ah, a pity for Pioneer Jr., but still a remarkable finish by any standard. Congrats! You're now in the top three in Pioneer Jr. Keep up and there's a huge potential for overtaking Micah on the leaderboard. Well, rumors about Micah and me are flying. Oh, never mind. Rumors are everywhere in the paddock. Want some suggestions from a pro agent? I'm all ears. Rumors don't affect your salary in future, but race results do. in a league of his own, leaving the competition in the rear view. He is truly the best of the best youth drivers. Right behind him is... Technically speaking, there's no one right behind Lee, who is way ahead of everyone else. He is already half a lap ahead, leaving Micah to lead the chasers. Right. Let's move on to the second echelon. Micah was overtaken. What did we miss? Micah's going aggressive on the acceleration and colliding with the car ahead. Keeping facing with no space for the car behind to dodge. Another crash in the beginning already? Keep it steady. Good. A crash ahead. Swing left and go around him. Job. able to drive out clear from that chaos, that's some impressive driving from the Pioneer Junior rookie. Yeah, the way I see it, we're looking at the next rising star in motorsports. Micah, what was that about out there? Shouldn't you be the one explaining what you did to me? You're the one who cut me off and almost caused a crash. Enough! The media saw it all. Micah. You are suspended for one race, and all points you earned in this race will be deducted. Why are you still here? Return to the team's lounge. All right, moving forward, you and Lee will race in R3 for the team. Go back and get ready. It's late. What's up? Is this about the season finale? Yeah, it's just... Micah should be reprimanded, but Stannis... <sighs> But Stannis only suspended Micah for one race? Yes! Micah's provocation before the race proves that he did it on purpose. So you want Stannis to expel his nephew Micah, a core member of the team? I don't mean... It's just giving him a one-race suspension seems way too easy, and it kind of bums me out. You're the starting driver for our team, so be careful. See the media and press right there? They'll zoom in on everything you do. Look over there! Sakura Jr. from Japan! I see Nogi! Don't worry, though. You've got this. Anything can happen on the track. When in doubt, improvise. Besides drivers from Sakura, watch out for Batter from Oasis Jr. This is his fourth tour in the R3 Championship, a true veteran. Fourth tour? Roger that.
Radio check complete. Sigma, today is pretty windy. Expect swirling headwinds at the first turn. Copy it all. That's it for the Sigma. Good luck. The race only just started. Wait for your opportunity. Lee will pick up speed at the first roundabout. Work with him there. Good job. Consecutive turns ahead. Keep the momentum and look for the window to overtake. You just overtook Sakura's number one driver! Keep your lead until you cross the finish line. Copied. You just overtook Mogi! Still get you ahead of yourself. He's right behind you. Find a way to stretch the gap at the straight. Watch out for the cars behind. Still push harder. Sensational performance! Pioneer Jr. dominated the race, securing two of the top three spots. And the highlight of the race goes to Pioneer Jr.'s debutante. What a race. Keep it up. Races get real tough once you hit the final 16. A top-notch driver will push their ride to the limit. I'm curious to see how far you can go. How about... The birth of a new star for today's press release title, including a photo of you overtaking Nogi. Oh, you should have seen the look on the face of Sakura's coach. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Let's just get ready for the next race. True. We're going up against Phantom Jr. next. And to top it off, Constantine's joining them. He's a real pain in the neck behind the wheel. You're up against some tricky drivers today, especially Constantine. The tactic he and Morgan pulled in the last race caused several crashes, so be careful out there. I've heard of Constantine before, but I don't think I know Morgan. Is he a new driver? I'll give you one guess why Constantine's been so irritable lately. People on social call Morgan smiles because he's always grinning, but don't let that fool you. He's been known to mess with his opponents on the track, even his own teammates. He only cares about winning, especially now that we're in the championship. To him, everyone's an opponent, even his own teammates. Well then... Okay, let's hold off on the chit-chat until after the race. It's go time, superstar! Did you see that? Constantine just hit the gas at the turn, and the Pioneer driver had to swerve out of the way to avoid a major crash. Trouble for Pioneer folks. One of their cars has just spun out of control on the track. Stay calm. Grab the wheel and get back on the track pronto. Give it all you've got to catch up to Morgan. Do not give up. Keep pushing. They're right on my tail. I can't shake them. You did it! You overtook 
I'm working. Maintain your lead and stay in control of your rhythm. I'll see you at the finish line. Line. Pioneer secures the last spot in the final eight by a mere three points. This race has certainly been a thriller. <sighs> What's the matter? You did a great job handling that situation and getting back on track in time. If a driver's afraid to lose, then they don't belong behind the wheel. Are you afraid of the upcoming races? and prove yourself in the next race. Team radio checks complete. Now listen up, you two. Haley and I believe in you both. We've got what it takes to make it to the final four. Just leave it all on the track. All right, now good luck out there. You're behind the position we laid out in the plan. Acknowledged. Working on it. Use your cornering skill. Drift to narrow the gap with the car in front. Roger that. Lee took first place. Just keep your position and we can make it to the final four. Gotcha. Made it to the final four. You did it. You punched our ticket to the trophy. Why was Micah bummed out? We just won. They? Who are they? I picked you and Lee to race in the championship, not them. You're the ones representing our team whether he likes it or not. The priority is a recap of the race. Forget all this other nonsense. Lee, what brings you here? I told him to come. As partners, it's crucial to build rapport. Plus, you could learn a thing or two from Lee's composure and calmness. Thank you, Gloria. All right, then. How about we hit the track for a little practice race after the recap?
most important thing on an ice rack is to learn how to adapt. Flow with the environment, rather than fighting against it. Less friction on the ice could do longer drifts. Let's give it a shot. You learn fast. I'm no prodigy. I just grind on the track day in, day out. I admire your persistence. It's clear that you've got a great passion for this sport. Passion? Huh? Nothing. Let's just continue with your practice. <laughs> 